Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today I'm going to explain how to fetch values from a drop down using find children activity of UiPath. So let's get started. For the today's demo, I'm going to take this website. I'll share the link in the description for your reference. So from this country drop down, let's say that I want to fetch all these country values and store them in a text file. So let's see how we can do so in UiPath. So first of all in UiPath, I'm going to use this open browser activity. I'm going to open this URL in Chrome browser. So let me provide it here. And here I'm going to choose the browser type as Chrome. And let's delete this do block. This is not required. Now after this open browser activity, I'm going to use this find children activity. So let me add this find children activity here and here I'm going to indicate the drop down on the screen. So indicate on screen, indicate this drop down on the screen. Now this find children activity fetches all these children UI elements of this drop down element and stores them inside a variable. So create a variable to store all the children UI elements. So create a variable, let's say countries. And accordingly, this country variable is created as I enumerable of type UI element. So this countries variable holds all these children UI elements. Now to get the value of countries, to get these text of these countries one by one, first of all, I'm going to add here for each activity. So here I'm going to add for each activity, let me add it here. And for each item in countries, and since this countries is a variable of type i enumerable of type ui element, here we'll have to change the type argument as well. So from the drop down, I'm going to search for the uipath.code.ui element type argument. So hit browse for types and search for uipath.core.ui element. So this is our required type argument. Select this one and hit OK. Now for each item in countries, I'm going to use another activity that is called get attribute. This get attribute activity is used to retrieve the value of a specific attribute of a UI element. So all the UI elements have different attributes. Now to get the value of attributes, this activity is used. So I'll explain you this one. So let me add this activity here first of all. And since we wish to get the attribute of these items for each of these items one by one. So if you expand this target, here we'll have to provide the element. So in the element, I'm going to provide the item. Now each of these children UI elements of the drop down country, each of these children UI element would have different attributes. First of all, we'll have to find which attribute will hold these country values, will hold the country text. So how to do that? For that, I'm going to use the UI Explorer. So let's launch this UI Explorer. And I'm going to indicate this drop down on the screen. And here we get all the details of the drop down UI element. Now, if you see in the property explorer, all the attributes along with their values are listed. So if you scroll a bit down, there is an attribute called inner text, which holds all the country names. Also, if you scroll a bit down, there is another attribute called outer text, which also holds the country names. So any of these two attributes can be used to get the value of country names. So in the UI path, from this drop down, I'm going to choose the attribute. You can either choose inner text or outer text. So let me choose the outer text from here. And the attribute value which this activity will fetch will be stored inside a variable. So here I'm going to create a variable, say country name. So for each of the item in countries, will get the value of the attribute outer text and that value will be stored inside the variable country name. 
now since we wish to write these country names inside a text file so here i'm going to use another activity that is called append line which is used to write to a text file which is used to append the values to the text file so let me add this append line activity here here we'll have to provide the text file details so what text you want to write i want to write the variable that is country name and here we'll have to provide the file name so hit browse and here i have already created a text file that is countries.txt so i'm going to use this one let's hit save also you can use the activity log message to write the country names in in the output panel so let me add this log message activity as well here i'm going to take the log level as info and let's take the message as variable that is country name So our project is ready. Let me quickly run this one to see how it works. I'm going to close this UI Explorer and I'm going to close this Chrome browser as well. UI Path is going to open it on its own. Let me quickly run this file. And the execution is in progress. The URL is getting launched in the Chrome browser. and now it's going to fetch the value of country names and store it in a text file and the execution is over let's move quickly move to our text file so from the file explorer i'm going to open this countries.txt file and here you see all the country names get list listed inside this text file also in the output panel you can see all the country names are available since we have used the log message activity so all these country names are available here now this find children activity is not only limited to fetch children ui elements from a drop down you can fetch children ui element of any parent element using this find children activity so let me show you one another example let's say that from this rpa challenge website you want to fetch all these form fill levels So let me show you how we can do so using the find children activity. So let's close this text file and here I'm going to use this comment out activity so that this find children is not executed so let me add it under the ignored activity. Also inside the open browser instead of this URL I'm going to use this RPA challenge. So let me add it here. then i'm going to use another find children activity here and this time i'm going to indicate the parent element of all these form field levels so indicate on the screen and here i'm going to indicate this entire division which is the parent element of all these children elements all these are the children elements of this parent element so let's click here and that has been captured here i'm going to create another variable say form field labels and i'm going not going to change anything here only i'm going to change is the variable countries instead of the country i'm going to use the form field labels variable which is also of type as i enumerable of type ui path dot core dot ui element so let me quickly run this project again to see how it works let me close this chrome browser and let's quickly run this file and the execution is in progress rpa challenge website is getting launched and the execution is over now if you move to the output panel here you see all these form field labels got fetched using the find children activity so all the form field labels are listed here that is email role in company last name company name address phone number first name all these form field labels got fetched from here and got listed inside the output panel as we have used the combination of find children activity and the get attribute activity 
so that's all for this session guys in this way you can use the find children activity to fetch all the children ui elements of any parent element and that's all for this session guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i'll see you soon in the next one bye bye